test test all right i think we're recording what i think it's on uh-oh no going back all now, right Rand. i'm ready hey hey eric hey hey, eric. hey Rand. fancy meeting you here uh <laughs> actually this is how i know you during covid it's always in a little tiny talking yeah. head on my screen you exist so. in a three inch window right right there yeah yeah it's just this is just normal business for eric and and uh me so well i'm yeah. skipping out on work today and i'm gonna play some some mist you want to play some mist oh definitely i i've heard this game's pretty interesting i'm gonna click new game unless you're a hater um <laughs> here we go New mist. Yeah, let's see if we can figure this out. Did you pick the? Uh, did you pick the? You didn't pick the randomized. No, puzzle. I picked classic. I'm a. I'm. Right. I'm too scared. I'm too scared for random. That's, that's one of those new features uh, for those of you who played it and you know fancy yourselves as knowing all things missed. You can randomize those things and uh, be destroyed. Have some fun with that. Rand can't hear right now because I'm the only one who can hear the game audio, but. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I don't know who this voice actor is, but it's has got that sultry voice. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my miss book are unsettling to me. This guy keeps dropping his miss book every I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. There we okay. go. That, that voice just bugs the heck out of me. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. I can't stand that. <laughs> Like listen to yourself on a recording is never a good thing. We got the new anti gravity mist book. Why why is the mist book floating now, Rand? Why it's you know what? I think I know the answer to that, Eric. It's because when you're in VR, you don't want to bend down and pick something up off the floor. It can get rather uh 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 irritating when, you know, your feet are up on the uh ottoman and you can't actually reach the floor <laughs> the ottoman the ottoman that's the laziest vr user experience i've ever heard of <laughs> well you know you can even start out standing up and walking around with the best of intentions and then eventually you're just going to be sitting on the couch with your that's feet true I, I mean i'm poking fun but i actually play the same way i i'm a i'm a seated vr player because i don't trust my i don't trust myself to not trip over the ottoman <laughs> all right let's go to mist island oh I love this uh, page turning, uh, you know, waiting Agreed. thing. It's that's great. All right, um, we're here. I can hear some seagulls. I can see some water. Now, here's the thing: in most people's minds, if you haven't played Mist in a really, really long time, you're thinking, "Oh yeah, I remember. This is this is what it was like. Just this it looked just like, just like, like this. Like. Yeah." yeah. Yeah, it looked exactly like this. Well, you should go back and look at those pictures because <laughs> it did not look like this. We should have put in like a like a like a like a memory mode that had actual screenshots from the original in here. Oh, oh well. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's an it'll, this will be a never-ending process here. On the, now that we've upgraded into modern engines and we've got everything in pretty decent shape, we. You know, we can keep we can tweak things, right, Eric? Forever. Oh yeah, let's just keep let's keep tweaking it. Why yeah. not? <laughs> let's just keep a team on this all the time. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna start flipping these switches. I'm gonna pretend like I don't know what they do. So there's always a debate on switches. Like, if you find a switch, you should flip it. But then, should you flip it back to where it was, or just leave it in this? You know, that's that's a you know the puzzle debate. I feel like I feel like most video games expect you, expect you to toggle the switch from yeah. what the state it is that you find it in, but yeah, See, I, that's what I would. Yeah. That's my rule of thumb. Switch it. Although there's another rule of thumb that says if you don't know what it does, don't you know, don't mess with it. Wait till you know what it does. If before. if people subscribe to that philosophy playing cyan games, they would never, they wouldn't get very far. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you subscribe to that philosophy in real life. You may not ever find out what the switch is in your house even. That's that's fair. That's fair. Well, it's I hopefully the stream isn't too bad cuz uh Rand is, you know, obviously viewing this remotely, so his frame rate's going to be a little chunky. It's nice and, and smooth here. Yeah, and we're playing the uh flat screen version, not not the VR as you can tell neither one of us have a headset headset Correct. on, so um 
Eric is just blowing through this. Look at look at those textures on the. Uh, so, look at that. Look at that. Get up close. Get where, up close where? to that log cabin. Oh, there. why why you want to look at the log cabin all, all close? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, that's just uh, that's a that's a texture, all right. That's happening there. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm 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 pretty happy with with where we were able to get things, especially for the for the PC version. Uh, it's, it I mean, after anybody who's played the Quest version, and we love the Quest version, but um, uh, it, it 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 broke my heart to see the the grass go away, and it had to because it turns out that the Quest is a is is not as beefy as like a desktop GPU, you know. Um, who who would have thunk? Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk that a phone that you strapped to your face isn't as powerful as your desktop GPU? Yeah, but but again, that Quest version is so cool because it's just like uh, free and easy wandering around. So the cool and, and by the way, I have to say this about the Quest version: in like wide open spaces, playing the Quest version in a giant room. If you have a giant room, you can go to and walk around mm-hmm. like the library on Mist Island. Oh man, that's a really cool experience. Have physically you have you done that where you found a, a space big enough where you could physically just walk around the whole the whole library yeah. and yeah oh. yeah it, I mean that's a whole different feel and I love that feel yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. of course if you yeah you do it outside and your neighbors are a little confused <laughs> find a football field somewhere you'd need to find a real level piece of ground because a little slope yeah. would would get you in trouble that's true. Parking um, lots. So we're here on Mist Island. Where do you want to go? Wait. Okay. Wait. 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 This, there's little things I like. Okay. So go, these wood, these wood thing steps that you walk up to the right. Oh yeah, the, the little plankies things. Yeah. Okay. Those things in the original Mist were like these perfect little. And, and granted, it's because we had to do them that way. These perfect yeah. little, uh, you know, cubes of happiness and. To see those eroded and rotted and messed up and buried into the ground, man, that's pretty sweet. And yeah, even getting close to those, it's like all different. Like it's just really cool. His well, the irony is they're not all different because I built those. That's a what? that's that's there's only one. It's just turned and flipped. And don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody that they only look one of those. different. No, they're all. It's just one of them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I won't tell anybody. You got to trick the people. You got to trick the I'm people secret. into into seeing more than there actually is when this when when you guys designed this originally because i remember those big old chunky cube cube blocks i don't think i've ever seen a wooden path in real life that 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 was like like that is that a thing like you know that was probably one of the very first things robin did Mm -hmm. be fun Mm -hmm. if he was on here come commenting as well but like I, I mean, honestly, I think he started building the island and then put the dock in, and and had to figure out different ways to make pathing so mm-hmm, that you mm-hmm. felt like you could go up. And rather, there was concrete and steps in this area, so it's rather than having more concrete steps, why not put some some railroad tie esque mm-hmm. kind of steps? When in. I was looking for reference to redo them, you know, they 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 use wooden beams like this for for erosion control sometimes, um, and so that that's like the closest analogy i could find and like yeah bury him in but it ended up looking okay it looks it looks like a plausible yeah. path and yeah looks really cool i feel like it would be a, a liability hazard if this were on my property you know? <laughs> it's like, uh you got to pick your feet up when you're walking <laughs> sure. should we go um, in, you oh, want to go in the library and look around a little bit yeah I, on the markers i gotta say on the markers yeah, which is those look of you who haven't played in vr it's it's really cool feeling to grab a marker switch with your hand and you know, throw it up and down. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I love VR. I, I mean, it's just, you know, everybody at the office knows that. I just love that feeling of having hands and moving things yep. for reals. And so, for, for anybody yeah. who, who's just watching this on the stream, you know, and you're seeing me click and it automatically animates. Yeah. When you're in VR, you, you have to do it. You have to do the work. You got to pull it and push it. And, um, it's, it really does feel pretty spectacular. Um, especially in the, in the PC version where we can get more visual fidelity out of it. Um, it's, it's, it's convincing. Definitely. Nice. Look at the, look at the mist. Look, look at the at mist. mist. Somebody asked me, I forget what it was on, if it was a live stream or a, a, maybe a Mysterium presentation. They were like, why, how come the island has, is surrounded by, by fog banks? And I was like, <laughs> you know, the game is called mist, right? <laughs> But yeah, back, I mean, back in the day when we made it, you had to have 
I mean, we used the mist as a way to kind of obscure things mm -hmm. in the distance so we didn't have to render quite so much. And I think that's yeah. still a, still used today, but I don't think we had to do that in this particular version. Yeah, no, it, it, in the original, I mean, was it, like, this is a, this is a deep dive question, but, but when you guys, since it was all pre-rendered, was the fog actually making the renders quicker because you didn't have to render as much stuff, so it, it was actually a time saver? You know, I, I'm going to say yes, but... I, I, it could be lost now. I, I don't think you can see all the way across the island. I think there's enough mist where it kind of obscures it, and that was mm -hmm. the, the point. But I could I could be wrong about that. I know that the other thing it does is give you some depth cueing. You know, if you're oh, yeah. just playing on one image on a flat screen, and it, you can't even move back and forth, it's just, you know, a box on your screen. It's nice to know how get a clue yeah. for how far things are away. Yeah. So it was when, handy for that. Too. When we did this version, like the, I made a very deliberate choice to try to make Mist Island just a little a little bit sunnier because we have other areas in the game. We've got Selenetic and, and uh, Channelwood in particular that are both real atmospheric. And I didn't want Mist Island to just be another, like, here you are in a fog bank. Um, and so we went a little sunnier and I went with sort of like the, the, the fog in the distance and I'm quite happy with the, with the, the tone, the mood of Mist Island. It's, oh yeah. I love it. It's got this ground fog feel. Mm -hmm. Like if you mm -hmm. look up, you get the blue sky, but it feels like when you're down, you're a little bit in a, in a, in a little bit of a fog yeah. bank and, and it moves through. I mean, it's not like it's just, um, yeah, if homogenous we, fog, it's got clumps and if we stare out here, I wrote a whole, I wrote a whole fog fog system for this game that that gives us we'll, we'll be able to see it in other ages a little better um but it it i'm pointing at the screen like you can see my hand but like uh, you know we get evolving uh almost fluid simulated uh, uh cloud movement which is which is really convincing really nice and those trees look at that we've got trees with like needles and <laughs> man oh man yeah Instead of I, just uh don't be careful blur. with the tree the fan the fans are unhappy with the number of trees on mist island you know, okay, I don't want to bring this up, but there is a there is a little bit of a, you know, ever decreasing number of trees in every version of yes. this island yes. that we do. But again, you know, who knows what updates we may do in the future. What about uh, a tree DLC where you can double the oh, number of trees on this island for oh, the low, Eric, low price? This is genius. <laughs> hey, per tree, a small, oh. it's just a small amount per tree. Fifty cents per tree will let you add micro trees to micro your transactions for tree. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in the library. I have to say, the first time, and this is this is a, uh, this is years back now, but the first time we built the library and we got it running in VR, I had a moment, right, where you put on the headset and you're like, "Holy crap! I'm yeah, I'm on Mist yeah. Island." Um, I, I had that too. You know what? The, the, I think the thing that hit me was I'd never had a sense of scale in this library. Mm -hmm. I never, never really realized my, what, how big it was, how small it was. And you put it in, v, when you walk through in VR, you can look up and down and realize, oh yeah, I get the, I get the scale of this place now. Yeah. It feels like I'm here. It's a, it's a and big room. By the way, like I said, I played this in a room where I could walk from en from edge to edge of the library. Mm -hmm. And that was very mind blowing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like if you had, had a, I mean, if you had a library this big in your house, you'd have a you'd have a big chunk of your house dedicated to this. It's yeah, not a, it's yeah, not a yeah. small space. Yeah, we did this like in the I think we set up cleared up the basement at Cyan. Yeah. And tried to get a, a big enough open space to at least be able to walk around the library and it's real satisfying. All right. Well, I've already turned on some of those marker switches, so our our, our map has has spoiler. Oh, I mean, spoiler alert. I mean, what's this? Actually, you know what? Let's talk briefly about um, anybody who's played the original is, has already seen a dozen things that are different, right? Or not even just the original, but even previous versions. Let's let's talk a little bit about like some of the changes that we very intentionally made to to take. Uh, how do how do we say this without? Um, diminishing the old one because obviously the old one has a has a has a, a sense of magic about it um, which is good but it's in contrast with what mist became in even in riven and 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 you know the sequels beyond that mist became far more 
steam steampunk and 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 grounded in sort of realism but the original mist was a little bit of an outlier there do you could we you want to talk a little bit about why we did some of the things we did yeah 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 i'm so it, it's this yeah the original mist was we'll just say eclectic because as robin and i were designing it um we kind of knew what we wanted to have and we wanted this variety of ages and we wanted this story that was behind it and these places to go but we also didn't want it necessarily to feel sci-fi or or too locked down and the fact was we were experimenting as we were building it anyway so it had a very um well you called it magical i think robin's even described it that way it's it's a little bit of a or maybe whimsical is a better is a better yeah term. whimsical yeah. or or mythological or something behind the scenes that you weren't quite sure how things were running mm -hmm. and it was okay mm -hmm. you, you were okay suspending that disbelief and Riven came and and we doubled down on a lot of the realism there and I think people loved that but again people's cup of tea is different things for mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. Mist still has a little bit of a magical feel but you know we I mean, as we've done different versions, we've tried to improve some of the less explained things or things we had to, you know, kind of do less realistically. The, the map alone, okay, and I don't know if this is one of the things you you are mentioning, but very it is. Map yeah. in the original, you just click on that tower and and it turns around, and you don't even know it's a tower. You don't know what's going on. We had to actually put the words tower rotation mm -hmm. on the map mm -hmm. because. It was so abstract that you weren't even sure what was going and this, on. And this was just a, a big circle, I believe, a big white, black and white diagram diagram of a, of a dot, I, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very stylized and not as clear as it probably could mm -hmm. have been. Where, okay, there's a perfect example of both improvement on, on um, the user interface, which mm -hmm. is, hey, it's a knob that I can grab and turn, and it's really clear that that's what it is. But it also is remarkably reminiscent of the tower when you're outside. Yes. You look yeah. at that thing on the top, and it's like, oh yeah, that's that's what's turning. And I think that's you know one of the cool little things that mm -hmm. has been improved. So there's lots of yeah, I think there's for, for us it it's sort of it's sort of it was like two birds with one stone because on one hand it it clarifies for the player. Um, it, it, it pulls back a little bit of that whimsy and replaces it with more mechanical explanation for like, oh, you know, At Atris actually, like, this is a machine. It's not, it's not a magic painting, right? It's not a, yeah. in fact, right. I, I even went so far when we did this display, if we look close, you can, you can even see there's, there's almost like scan lines as if, as if, uh, there's a display behind the, the, the paint strokes on the painting. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, to try to explain away some of that stuff. But then it also solved a non-trivial interface problem, which is VR, when you're manipulating everything with your hands, how, how are we gonna, are they gonna reach into the painting? How, how are they gonna manipulate the tower? And so it ended up solving some things. And we, we took that same philosophy and we'll see it throughout our little playthrough here. Yeah, show them the paintings yeah. here too, yeah. So what was this in the original? Yeah, and the original, well, your cursor was this in the original, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and it would go to this and this and you this. You just click, you'd click right here on the painting and it was as if the whole painting was, yeah. You know, do his magical swirly thing. So mm -hmm. instead of that, to Eric's point, this is a little more conducive to grabbing in VR and, and uh, having an interface that is a little more practical mm -hmm. um, than just touching this, touching a painting. But we couldn't. We, we could it's not get rid of. Well, we couldn't. Yeah. We we couldn't bring ourselves to get rid of the the swirl because that's so. That's like deep in my bones somewhere, right? That's in my DNA at this point. And uh, but we tried to come up with a reason for how how it would have been done. And same thing, if we're saying that this is some painting, but it has like a display technology to it, we're kind of using the same excuse here. You can see that uh, we we have this this paint texture that when the when the thing moves that stays still as if it's it's some sort of a display behind the paint that's changing it was i don't know Atrus had a lot of technology at his display. yeah let's he just, did you know, let's just say pretty amazing for a guy on like a tiny little island and for a guy who always needs your help too. yeah like, yeah oh man, i need your help again i need your help again <laughs> Okay, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, this sliding door up here in VR. Oh man, I 
when I first did this, it's like several times. Yeah. When we when we implemented it, one of the first things I, I, I think it was I think it was Carl who implemented the first one and he he made it so that um it has some in like I can't I can't show it here but like because it's just a one click in, on the PC. But it actually has inertia. So if you flick it, it'll if it only makes it halfway, it'll actually go back and shut again. And if you get enough inertia, it'll go past the halfway point and continue opening. And it feels so good. It feels so believable. Love that stuff. Yep. Very cool. This is we had a little bug on this one uh early on because that button. Mm -hmm. Um Oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> It was, I, it's it's not. I mean, it could go either way, but just for legacy reasons, it actually it had the name of where you were going, and we had to change it back to it's the floor you're on. Yeah. So now in the that tower one was my fault too, because I I I did the display on this, and I was like, yeah, the but it's like when you get in an elevator and you you push the button where you want to go, and you you convinced me, and I'm fine with it. It's fine. It, it could be either way. I just. It's the legacy that that drives us in certain instances. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here's a cool one. Yeah. So we made a change here. In the original mist, you had to climb up a ladder on both sides mm -hmm. to kind of get to where you wanted to go, and we decided that just wasn't necessary. Kind of got in the way. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun to climb up climb up the ladder on the other side because you're kind of looking through a slot in the in the if, tower. If I remember correctly, and I forget if it was a change in design or if it was because we had to build it in 3d but if we if we put the clues on the top floor and the hole was in the top floor we we would have overlap so we decided i think to stagger them and have the clues be down in in the lower part of the ring here yeah yeah seven That's two right. four what do you think that means i don't have a clue what in the world what are these clues who made these things up so if you play randomize by the way Guess what? 724, probably not going to be the numbers you see in that probably slot. Probably not going to do it. Gonna have to, you're going to have to go through the whole thing. Looks like we're this pointing cool. at that cabin. Yeah. I, I love this in VR, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I love it in real time because you can kind of get parallax and see a yeah. little bit more. That's sweet. Is that cheaty out there? How, how cheated is that view? Oh, uh, it's really, it's super cheated. Super is it? Cheated. Yeah. That's how <laughs> you got to make smart. games sometimes. That's smart, you know. This one it, be we, efficient. We might have been able to pull it off with a with a real-time view, but it would have been a it would have been a, a it would have been tough. There's um a got to be smart. Do we want to talk a little bit about this room. This there's some subtle stuff going on in this room that I don't think unless we talk about it, I'm not sure people are going to notice what's going on. So we redesigned this a little bit. In the original, what um, the elevator rotated, is that correct? Uh, yes, you actually went up and it turned. And it stopped and yeah. then adjusted and then and then mm -hmm. you went up. Um, right. In our version, in this version, the elevator and the middle of the room and, and the ceiling stay fixed. But there's a there's sort of an interior cuff that rotates, and you'll notice that the 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 ladder is not lined up with the elevator. It's it's at a weird angle. That's because we rotated the tower to point towards the cabin, and so the whole room is actually just rotating to match whatever angle you tell it to. It's, it's very cool. cool. This is much more logical uh, design for that. Okay, seven two four. Remember seven two four, Rand. Seven four two. Got seven, it. Got it. <laughs> Nailed it. Literally, I think I, I think I actually remember a lot of these. You know, they're like just want to locked that in my mind. So every time I, I play this when I'm play testing, like you know, looking for bugs or whatever, fixing bugs, ninety nine percent of the time I still forget that I have to close the elevator door, and I'm like, oh, the button's broken. Oh wait, no, I'm broken. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one in the original too. It's like, no, 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 you're not going anywhere until yeah. you close that door. Um. Just in general, the, the styling of, of this stuff, again, we tried to really make it more industrial and believable and based in what you would expect to see in the real world. And of course, it skews steampunky and industrial and all that stuff, but I'm very, very happy with, with what we were able to do. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. And even, like, let's let just look at the, the, like, if you in that hallway, yeah. I love the floor and the, 
the little specular highlights mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. the lighting and the wood grain in the walls. I mean, that's the stuff that really mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, blows my mind, like in real time and even in VR. Like, in VR, yeah. Crap, mm -hmm. this is like, this is like, real, you know, this is like being there. It's so cool. I don't know what these books do. We should just ignore them. That looks dangerous. Yeah, don't do those. No one has like they, knives they on the front. They have to do that on their own. They have yeah. to do that on their own. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go check out this. Uh, let's go check out this tree. You know. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hmm. So, I, I'm just saying. I do remember. Uh, we can skip a lot here because there is some things I remember about these these switches in the garden that. Mm. On our way to the tree, just click. What is it like? I think it's that one. Maybe not. No, it's not that one. I think Turn that's. That one I think that's off. right. The one to the right of that one. It's this one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now go to the opposite side. Let's. These are the, these are some of my favorite. I, I just want to stop for a second. I know you're oh, doing. Yeah, I know. I don't. Should. I don't want to interrupt your bit. But like. <laughs> no, no, no. This is great. I love these too. So this was when we like. Do we want to talk about like what? The, we took a weird path to this project. This was Mist VR was something that came up several years back, years ago, and we did a little prototype that was sort of the early DNA for this. And Rand, I remember you pushing like you wanted all you wanted in the world was Mist in VR. I I remember that so distinctly, um, and we were like, really? Are you sure? And we started working on it, and then very quickly. Uh, we had a very small team very rapidly did basically this area. It was, it was, I mean, this is all redone, but these switch boxes are almost exactly what was done in that early thing because we all fell in love with it. And again, it's back to that, like in the original, these were weird, like green and orange boxes, I think. And they had a symbol that would light up, but, um, Blake Bierke, one of our, one of our artists did these, they're, they're inspired by, um, Nix, Nixie tubes. Am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Like the, the, yeah, is that, and that's like mid century technology, early, early vacuum tube technology. And, um, they're still probably one of my favorite puzzle items and they don't do anything different than the original, but they feel so missed. They feel so right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's that over engineered steampunky coolness. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, comes through on those puppies. Yeah. Maybe this one. Oh yeah, you you know this. Now look, turn to the right. Oh, oh yeah. what? Wow, it's like magic. There's some hydraulics in this. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, how right. how did Atris make the boat do that, Rand? Yeah, he. I'm just telling you that guy has got. He's a uh, mechanical engineering genius. When you Rand, when you take your boat to the boat launch, is that how you get your boat out? You just my boat. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. My boat. <laughs> your, your yacht. I know. My I yacht. Know. Yeah. Yeah. The old yacht. I, I just, it, I hide it under the water. <laughs> this is different. See if I can remember. I think it was, what were the three numbers? 742. <laughs> or a 724. Did I get it? No. Oh, man. You're Should've so listened. bad. Should have listened. I have console commands for this. I don't. I don't need to. This could come in handy, actually. Oh, here's something different. Mm -hmm. There's no match here. No matches. Oh no, no. What do we got? We this got a the... furnace and we got an ignite. That's right. That's right. Click, click, click. We got a pilot light. Oh, something's making some noise. All right. Oh, we got our pressure building. Nice. It's dumping pressure. Well, that seems bad. That's a very tall tree. Let's go for a ride. Oh, man. <laughs> going the wrong way. No, what do you mean? I'm a thousand. Oh, I got an achievement. Achievement unlocked. I'm That's a thousand it. percent certain that I did this when I was in high school. The first time I played Mist, um, I'm sure I. I'm sure I came up here and was stumped. Yeah. 
this was this was one of those fun little Easter eggs in the first mist to put in. Yeah. Like we realized early on, like, oh, you could you could do this the wrong way. We needed to let people do that and give them a you know, it's a cool view. I don't think I've ever ridden this up. Uh, honestly, I'm not even joking. I don't think I've ridden this up here in this version and just kind of oh. looked out. You can see the the waves rolling in and crashing on the shore. That's kind of cool. Pretty cool. That's cool. All right. I like it. Does this just take you down one level each click? Oh, interesting. Oh no, okay. Yeah, you got to you got to hold it down. Oh, I got to release the release the pressure. All right. Let that go back up a little bit here. See how good Eric is at this. Oh, this is the this is our timing puzzle in this game. This is one of those puzzles in Mist that's that's um, you know blurs those weird lines between magical and steampunky. Like, yeah, if you're gonna have a place of protection, let's build a giant tree that you can right hop inside and kind of ride down because that's practical. I mean, it feels like Atrus has a very like he's a kid at heart, really. I mean, he's just making playground stuff he'd he'd be on a watch list or something he definitely he'd, i don't i don't i don't know about that guy yeah. he feels so, like you know, he's it, it's a little bit of um adam savage in <laughs> yes, in Atris, yes right <laughs> that's wow yeah yeah in like the best, he's like yeah i could way. just make an elevator but i want to make a giant tree out of it that might be the, the best the best uh parallel i've i've seen i've heard yeah yeah. So, speaking of things we changed, um, in the original tree gate down here was just a was just a room with a stump, um, and we wanted to we wanted to switch it up a little bit, and we wanted to really echo sort of where you were where you were going to be going, and so we sort of rethought it in terms of the channel wood walkways and all that. Um, yeah, it's a really nice foreshadowing of of uh, channel wood. I love that. And I love the feeling down here, the sounds and the, mm -hmm. the interesting got the, underground uh, dock feeling. The theme comes in, we get the, the, I think that's, it might be the Mist Island theme. It's the one with the light drums. You can't hear it right now. No, I think it's, I think it's channel wood. Is that channel wood with the piano and the drums? Cool. Mm -hmm. um, should we talk a little bit about the, the new book designs? Yeah, books all have iconic kind of their, their own, uh, representation too which is very cool mm -hmm. i love that what do you think you want to go to should we go to channel wood or the do you books wanna... are also locked down in case anyone was wondering yeah so <laughs> age, you know and i think it's just something we overlooked in the first mist um but because because anybody could have swiped a book and like walked off with it right yeah exactly it's like nah you should lock these down dude like take your screwdriver to them <laughs> all right here Are we, we going to go here? You want to? Yeah, let's go. All right. By the way, um, I, I did receive word from somebody who's part of the, um, more, uh, the, tr the, the underground tree, uh, need more trees on Mist Island, saying that the Channelwood trees were very satisfying. Oh, okay. So... Yeah. It's Mist Thumbs Island. Up on, the tan, on the Okay, Channel good, good. They just want more on Mist Island. So Channelwood, I gotta say, like Channelwood gave us fits on the quest. Love, love, love the Oculus Quest. Love it to death. But it is a cell phone, and it was very difficult to get a forest that read like a forest and didn't just cripple the hardware. So, um, on a amazing on a, job, by the way. That it blows my mind when I'm in there on the quest. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. It blows my mind for a different reason, a bad way on the quest. I, I can't. It, to me, it's just like ugh, it doesn't. It. I mean, huh. it was fine, but this this is Channelwood. This feels like Channelwood, and it felt so good too. Because it's more than just the trees to me. It's the yeah, trees. Yeah. It's the it's the atmosphere. It's the. Um, this is part of the reason we we pulled back on Mist Island a little bit with the atmosphere because. I really wanted the the middle of Channelwood to feel like a like a like a dense sort of swamp, for lack of a better word. Um, yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, originally the uh, Channelwood was. I think Robin has said this. It was modeled after 
this swampy uh, lake in Texas that wasn't far from from where we kind of lived at one point called Caddo Lake. It's one of the few natural lakes in Texas. I think it's on the border of Louisiana. I'm not sure. And it was and it's it feels like that now more than it oh, ever cool. has. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 No, I'm I'm super super proud of what the team was able to do with 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 Channelwood. Um, There's yeah. another change right there. Oh the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The little switches now have handy uh, handy levers that are at uh, easy reachable, so you don't have to again bend down and mm -hmm. do something silly on the on the ground. This one, I think, I know we we talked about a lot, and this was one of the first suggestions we came up with. And the more we talked about it, the more it was obvious. Like, yeah, we just need a handle. We just need to bring it up and have it. And when you're in VR, it feels supernatural. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Not supernatural, very natural. Yeah. Yeah. Super natural, supernatural, like British, like British Columbia. Supernatural. Oh, we got a frog. Well, careful, careful. Oh. Can we chase him? Oh, no. He went away. Nice. Got the windmill going. Very cool. Sweet. This one gets me, like, this does nothing. It just stops the thing. Yeah, I mean, that, that yeah, honestly, that was put in because we thought, well, this thing have to have a break on You want to stop it sometimes. So you just hold down and you can stop it, but not permanently. <laughs> the, the, the red, the red herring lever. <laughs> All right, now we got water. Those. I can hear the water running through the pipe. Nice. Doing the doing the walkways in here was was a blast. I I I very much enjoyed um, building the building the systems to build the stuff because. This, uh, you know, it's all modeled a lot of separate parts. Uh, Joe, one of our contractors, did a great job modeling out all the wood pieces. And then uh, we built tools to build these walkways. And so um, in Unreal, it's actually sort of assembling all these walkways uh, dynamically. And so if we wanted to, we could just, you know, build a whole new network of walkways. Um, it made it very, very fun and very easy to, to rearrange this things. Was, this was cool for me to watch because the tools you have are amazing on the on the walkways that are you know above mm -hmm. the right above the water but the ones that are hanging up there it's so crazy how you can just pull those and oh, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't just stretch the boards and the rope it actually does what it what you think it yeah. makes a longer walkway that still hangs in the right way yeah. there's really a, there's cool. a there's a sag slider so you can make them more droopy or more let's let's go yeah. up there let me see if i can remember how to i got to i got to route the water i think i screwed this one up because I don't have that door open yet, so. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta stare at the swamp water for a second. Yeah, look at that. Man, that's cool. Wow. I love that. I would not want to fall in there. That's That would be gross. I'd go swimming in there. Ugh. Leeches. Leeches, man. I lived in Texas. <laughs> um, This'll do, right? Good. Can you hear the motor? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are just more satisfying than ever with, you know, a, a bigger window that you can actually get right, put your head right mm -hmm. into there. We had to really we had to lower the window as well because we found that um, shorter VR players because it uses your actual height. These are the things like people don't think about when they build for VR the first time is, you know, usually for a video game, you have your, your character's camera height and you just model things around that. But in VR, you have to accommodate all, you know, heights and shapes and, and different body types. And yeah. um, it's, it's thankfully, we, we learned a lot of those lessons on, on abduction. So we kind of knew what we were doing on this one. So this is just awesome up here. I, this is, in Channelwood, this is my favorite level. I know you mm -hmm. can go to a higher level, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this, mid level with the hanging things and looking down at the water and the you know i just this is just magical up here mm -hmm. it's very cool i love it too i'm glad we were able to to, to pull it off with the density we were able to um, oh yeah yeah we even were able to on, on the quest i believe the the floors in here are just completely solid and on the pc we were able to 
go back to the uh, the uh, <laughs> lawsuit liability floors that like yeah these are very effective in VR too. <laughs> yes my favorite uh, up here there's these bridges without the rails those are fun in VR this, like hey, this okay here. wait so you when you make those hanging bridges like the one you just walked yeah, on yeah or the or the straight ones sure it's got missing yep like it's planks you missing in there do you do those by hand or does the tool do those? math does those i i, nice. I let you specify a percentage uh that are missing and cool. it will automatically drop out whatever percentage and then i added a little bit of extra code to make it so that you can never have two planks if it if it if it takes out a plank then it forces the next plank to appear um, because I didn't want to run the risk of, uh, uh, you know, having it be not feel like not, you couldn't step over it. And so right, if you, right. if you crank it up to a hundred percent missing, then what it actually is, is every other plank is missing and it just looks like a, a railroad track, nice. um, but it worked, it worked great. So that's awesome. This is the one that people say in VR is, is challenging because oh. there's nothing, yeah. nothing making you feel like you're going to stay on there. Yeah. That is a freaky one. Yeah. Love it. All right, we'll do a, a real quick visit here and then maybe bounce out to another spot. Um, cool. Oh, look that, at that. that. Something happened. I saw it. See if I can find my way back to the. You got to go the long way, don't you? Yeah, this, this, is, this age makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's just gorgeous. Man, that's cool. It's got the you. You can't hear it, but the um, the ambient sound effects with all the cicadas and the creaking wood and the birds chirping. Love it. Yep. Love yep. It. I think I'm going the right direction. Yeah. The the elevator sounds. I think we used the ones I made. It's the same. I, 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 I had fun doing those for the quest. I know I did them for the quest version. I don't know if we use the same sounds or we updated them. But I, think, I think a lot of them are the same. Yeah. yeah, that was a, I had so much fun. These making the sounds for these elevators in particular, mm -hmm. I spent way too much time. Like every little creak, you should see how many layers of sound <laughs> in that file. It was a, I, I went way too crazy on it, but I loved it. Yeah, it no, fun. they're very effective. Go open this guy up. Nice little squeaky hinge. Yeah, in VR, this feels so nice. I mean, the trees just feel yeah. giant, and when yep. you get up there, it's it's very disconcerting in the right way. Uh, one of our cool. one of our artists, Lance Vermeer, did the did the pass on all of the lower stuff, and he just he just knocked it out of the park. Couldn't be happier with how how this age looks. All right, yeah. um, let's go to let's go back to Mist Island. I'm gonna cheat for a second. I'm gonna take the fast wait, fast access. Wait, what did you just do? Nothing, nothing. Just uh, you know, just dev things. Just, wow, uh, <laughs> that's handy. We are. Yeah, you can't can't I do that in the. Not in the release version. I, I hope it is so that I can play it. <laughs> all right so we lifted this boat up uh before we left should we go hey, we should go there let's go there that boat looks this boat has never looked like a freaking real pirate ship like it does now yeah i, I just mentioned lance he he did the he did this pass on the boat as well and just did a stellar job of it um yeah and we i we went in after the fact a sort of a late addition was to make the boat be be wet above a certain level i don't know if i can see the water line you can see the top of the mast yeah. is actually dry and then it and then it's wet because the thing was underwater and so on the pc because we can do fancier shaders and afford more of that um it was nice to actually make it so that the the boat feels like it did just lift out of the water um it's very cool except for this room except this for this room. who puts a ceiling fan? ceiling fan you gotta have a ceiling fan you gotta have a ceiling fan in there it's, i mean that's doesn't every boat in one of the rooms that stores the book have the ceiling fan? ceiling fan in a in a 40 watt bulb yep i'm pretty sure that's accurate to nautical uh that a i'm telling you it's that atris <laughs> adam savage would have done that he would have put a ceiling fan in there like a i'm putting a ceiling fan in Bye. atris atris loved 
bulbs. He's got a lot of light bulbs on Mist Island. All right, this is a very orange place. Let's go to the orange world. Now, I know there's already been a few comments of, uh, of one thing in particular in this next world. Did you see? Yeah, we were getting razzed on Twitter this week. Did you see that? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep, I like how I approved it. It was like, <laughs> sure. I had, to, I had to get your sign off on that one. <laughs> there it is. There it I is in all that. its glory. Man. I, that was pretty epic. So here was my thinking, right? Because this is very different from any previous iteration of, of Stone Ship. Stone Ship is often, like, rainy or dark and stormy. And I, I really wanted... I wanted a contrast to the rest of the game, right? And so we have Channelwood, which is very um, swampy and, and sort of cool colors. Um, we, we had lots of cool, cool colored ages. We didn't have any warmth in the game. And so my intent here was to try to, to bring in some, some, some contrast. I'll climb up the, I'll climb up the, the walkway here. Um, and so this is, we have this big, gorgeous sunset um, combined with the idea, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up here. We got these cool volumetric lights. So as I round the corner, you can actually see the sunlight sweep around the rock. Just never get tired of that. Um, and I really wanted to try to play on the idea of this of this sunset scene. And the more I the more I massage the environment, um, the more the more I oops I didn't mean to go fly. Whoops, hold on, let me let me undo that. Um, the more I played with it, the more I was like, oh man, if that sun just bigger, 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 and the idea of that this is not Earth. This is yeah. This is some other universe somewhere, um, and so there's no rule saying that the sun has to be this little dot. And then I I started playing with the sky the sky shader. It's a custom sky shader, and when I was able to get the clouds to sort of block out the sun, it suddenly came together, and it was like, oh, okay, I have to do this. Um, and we pushed and pulled it, and you had some good feedback, and I'm I'm very very happy with where it ended up. I just have to say. Yeah, I. I love how this looks, and I, I totally agree with you. I love the alien feel of having a, a sun that is that big, which is totally reasonable in, you know, in real life. Our sun is not in, you know, not a large one, so... Astrological terms or something? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool to think, you know, you've got that. I, mm -hmm. I love that idea. And on the yeah. PC, like, the stuff that makes me so happy is is just, I mean, I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see me, but, like, the the, the way the specularity off the ocean works, and you can see this, the, the, the rock shadows in the, not the shadows of the rock, but the specular shadowing of the rocks, and it just, ah, love it. Yeah, yeah, so I I'm even like the, like, the, the, the water itself has got this real, and I don't know how you, you guys do this, but it's got you know the the reflection of the orange sky but then when you look down in it it's got the greens which to me i mm -hmm. you know it, it implies this depth that you're yeah. seeing down in and i just think that is so effective where yeah, it's like the, the oceans so were well. were non-trivial for this game and and you know they're i'm not pretending that they're the they're the best water ever they're not they're not super photorealistic but for the style of this game, I'm I'm pretty happy with where we were able to get it, and the yeah. the feel is right, especially in in VR. When you're here in VR, it just feels it feels wonderful. It's very cool. Um, how far do you want to go into each of these ages? I'm looking at our time here. We've been going about oh, we've been going about forty over forty five minutes. So oh my gosh. do you want to do you want to visit do you want to visit one more place? Do you want to go to yeah, let's Sel go Selenetic or yeah. Mechanical. Yeah, mechanical. You know what? Let's let's do just a... make a, quick, a couple quick trips. Yeah. To, uh, you know, but yeah, let's okay. try selling it. Do you have any any before we leave Stone Ship? Stone Ship was always, you know, when I was when I was younger and I was before I worked at Cyan, I was just a just a Mist fan. Stone Ship was had a special place in my heart, and I think it did in a lot of people's hearts. It's something about yeah, yeah. something about this um this boat that's just like cracked in two, stuck on a rock. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, pretty. I love this one. This, I mean, look as we as Robin got better and better at using the tools, the Stratus. I think the worlds got more impressive. And we start on Mist Island, and it it. I mean, it blew our minds when yeah. we did yeah. it. But but as he got the China uh, Channel Wood and um, Stone Ship, and as Chuck got better, and you know, it just the worlds got more impressive and. 
stone chips just got again it's this weird juxtaposition of of uh fantasy and steampunk that like wait why is there a boat in the middle of these rocks mm -hmm. and crashed mm -hmm. on it and it it always has this otherworldly feel in so many ways that yeah you, they, you they, guys have captured so well it's here. the i mean it was the old the old the surrealistic adventure that will become your your world or whatever this this age yeah. more than more than a lot of the other places felt so surreal it felt so familiar mm -hmm. and weird i was just going to say this is this is a happy accident but this hallway here where the light is streaming in is ended up being one of my favorite spots in the entire game just because of the way like you know especially when when the tunnel's drained i guess i should have drained the tunnel um and you come up out of here and you see the sunlight getting brighter and brighter and brighter and then you crest around this corner and then you you, you don't even make sense of it at first but there's this light blasting through and you come out and you realize that's actually the sun that you're seeing through the yeah i just i love it i love it man it feels, that works so well yeah, it feels so you good. can feel your eyes squinting when you climb up that tunnel yeah. the first time because you feel like you're down in the dark and mm -hmm. you come up and all of a sudden it feels so real because that's how it works when you're you know Yep, and we are, the camera is doing eye adaptation, so it is actually changing the exposure when you come up and all that stuff. So. Yeah, it's very all right. cool. Uh, let's, we can go to mechanical, or we can go to selenetic nest next. You get to pick. Um, let's do a quick mechanical. Mechanical. Yeah, we can just look around here. By the way, sure. sweet bulbs. Look at those bulbs. Yeah, look at those bulbs. That is awesome. This uh, this is another that anything anytime you see like the Nixie tubes or the antique bulbs, just think that's Blake doing that, and it is. <laughs> um, Blake is one of our one of our senior artists, and he has um, he's sort of responsible for this entire age, which is awesome. Um, and he really nailed it. Mechanical. This, this, okay, so yeah. I just have to say the the whole idea to put the um, basalt pillars. Um, on this thing is so perfect i when i first saw that it's just like oh my gosh of course that is mm -hmm. that is what this should be and those of you who don't know these these are these weird hexagonal basalt pillars that we have around this area at near our headquarters here in spokane and in fact we have a few of them that have that are part of our building and even in the downstairs area we brought one in and put it in, in in this one room so it's we know what these are they're in few they're in a few places around the world mm -hmm. and um it just is so cool to have those here i think in well, the original it was just sort of a generic um you know gray rock or brown rock or something but yeah it, it works so well it's angular so it really works with the with the mechanical nature of what's going on um yeah. i just can't get enough of this like the big rusty gears with plants they look like they were planters you know it's so cool. I wish I had some of those. I'd put those in my yard. <laughs> sure. my, uh, my grandfather was an elevator repairman. Oh, really? And he had gears everywhere. Oh. I mean, he had big gears. You know, they were used. I mean, he, he didn't have them. He had them laying around, but they were always for a purpose. It's not like you could just grab them. Do you, do, like, you think, do you think that inspired you guys when you were? I'm sure it had something to fascinating. do with it. I mean, we just... You know, the, we'd go in his shop, and he had a metal lathe, and he'd, he'd just make us a little thing, thing out of metal, and he had all kinds of crazy stuff. That's I think awesome. Robin's done taken some pictures of that of his shop, but yeah, those. Speaking of Robin, he's got, look, look he had who's on that painting. That were like shapes. Oh, there it is. Hey, Robin, there it is. <laughs> the little emperor. <laughs> that is uh, Cirrus when he was young, I think. Yeah, this this whole... is, and by the way, this whole thing is so cool. Oh, so I, good. Again, love how this all works. And in VR, getting the sense of scale in all these places is like mind blowing. Like, oh, so it was, fun. It was so rewarding to be able to see mechanical turn into mechanical right it, because the original is awesome but it, it it it's a little you know it's got the tr tread plate on the walls i think and it's got it's it's almost yeah. like a um it's again it's whimsical it's it's a whimsical interpretation of what mechanical means and it, it right. was so cool to be able to um to see this come to life as this heavy industrial aesthetic and really 
like obviously all the puzzles work the same and the the the, the story is the same but seeing the detailing come in um yeah yeah it's yeah it's so good even the uh even the clock tower you know with all the gears in yep. it when you look up i mean that was oh was yeah, always yeah, assumed yeah in the original that somewhere there were clockworks in there but it's just so perfect it's, to have all that now it's intense um, yeah actually i'm gonna i'm gonna poke up real quick to the um to the oh i have to ret i guess i don't want to solve any puzzles i don't want to ruin the game um come to mechanical <laughs> you'll enjoy it uh all right we only have about five minutes left so should we you want to check out um selenetic which is probably another selenetic might be the one that visually has has digressed the most from the original so let's go i would tell out. you you need to go actually go to mist island and solve for selenetic like go play i don't got three game. hours rand <laughs> I want to hear you singing those those notes oh, as you're. As I'm sure you play them on the keyboard and go back to the slides. I'm sure our yeah. viewership would just skyrocket. I'm sure that would <laughs> that would be. All right. Let me take the, the the quick the quick route. Sel Selenetic is imp is important to me as well, um, because of the atmosphere. I I tried I spent a lot of cycles on this project. Oh, here's your fa here's your favorite puzzle. There it is. There it is. Play Mary Had a Little Lamb anytime you want. A little organ music. Um, we've already solved the puzzle, and you know, yeah. Anybody who's played the played the game, and if you haven't, pick it up, and you'll learn all about that wonderful organ. Um, so Salinetic. The by the way, that is that whole thing is obviously Nemo esque. I mean, that's oh the the that's, pipe organ thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just. That is, uh, you can tell what influenced uh, that early design. Mm -hmm. This so, is so interesting. So cool. I remember early on uh, when we were when we were planning this, we we, we looked into the backstory of Selenetic and um, the idea that it was sort of meteorite strikes, recent recent meteorite strikes. The goal here was to was to to build. A feeling of a space that was sort of in progress of being pummeled to death by by these meteorites, and so um, I tried to focus on the atmosphere as much as possible. And then um, uh, two of our awesome artists, uh, Derek and uh, Robert, put together the 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 art that you see here. And I just, especially in VR. This this might be one of my favorite spaces to just walk around and feel feel the the vapor the the atmosphere. It's so thick and and yeah. compelling and uh, it's this weird feeling like like I can almost smell the sulfur in certain yeah, areas. Yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And then you come up here and it's this it's juxtaposed with that and you feel like you get a breath of fresh air up here in this little bit of green oasis mm -hmm. with the water running you know it's really cool a little a little bit but you know you look out and it's still just this choking oh yeah <laughs> yeah no it feels Love like it. i always i always figure in this in this version it feels like this is the reprieve like i've got yes. i gotta i gotta take a deep breath in the in the oasis area and then i gotta hold my breath while i go mm -hmm. into the other areas that are you know with all this kind of dense fog that i may be toxic but I can always run back at the yeah. oasis to catch a breath. The the goal here was to because this if we want to talk about dense fog in the original in the original it was just like a white fog that only went about oh, yeah. twenty feet and you couldn't you yeah. could not see what was beyond. And so the goal here, um, I really wanted to to make chunky fog is what I kept saying right the idea of fog that can yeah. doesn't block out your whole view but actually is volumetric and that's exactly what we did. Um, we also we we pretty dramatically changed the, the 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 tower. I don't know what you want to call this thing. Um, the scope. This is yeah. this is dramatically different from the original, and I love it because it again it brings in that industrial like, um, you know, you see bridge bridge anchors or guy wires for for antennas, and that's that's the inspiration that we used um, for that. Mm -hmm. I just love it. I love it. Yeah, this this has such a great feel um i would say let's go check out the interior of the building but um i don't ha i don't know that we have enough time to solve the puzzle 
You know, people are just going to have to do this themselves. Yeah. I mean, I, I hate to say that, yeah. but... It's, it's uh, the truth. It's the truth. Yeah. And um, by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, because yeah. I keep... We, we're playing, obviously, on flat, flat here, but um, the VR we keep bringing up, you, you can interchange. I mean, you can play some in flat, play some in VR, yep. do, you know, in, mix it up any way you want. It's kind of the same version, so... Absolutely, um, yep. It's very cool. If you Save. get the flat version now and get VR later, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for any uh, anybody who is a is a Quest user who owns this on Quest, uh, you 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 can play this um, on on PC without spending a nickel. Full crossplay. So this was always this was always my my memory of playing the original centers around these crystals. Like the, these mm -hmm. crystals to me identify this age. Um, so it was fun to be able to to represent. There's them some in. cool effects on those too now. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Uh, I think I think Robert did a pass on the shader where we added this sort of parallax offset thing. Um, I, cool. I, it's so good. Love it. Man, that's cool. I keep seeing these pages all over the place. Yeah, don't touch them. Don't touch those things. Those that's nothing but trouble. Oh, leave that there. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's according, cool. According to my watch, we're 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 about in an, an hour. Um, I feel like if we did more, we'd be giving too much away. We may have already given quite a bit away, but you I think know, we only I think we only ruined one, maybe two puzzles. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna real well, quick I'm gonna take us back to Mist Island. We can give our our sort of closing thoughts here. I said it. I said it a few weeks ago on a on a different on a. Uh, I think it was during the Mysterium panels, but um, people were asking like, what was the what was the the rationale behind doing this this version? Um, aside from we want people to play the game in VR and we want it to you know as be high fidelity as possible. And I mentioned that like our objective with this was not to was not to recreate Mist verbatim it wasn't just to make a higher fidelity version of mist because you know we've, we've we've got other versions and and we deviated pretty hard in a few places and for me the objective for this was to was to not recreate mist but it was to recreate your memory of what mist was from when you were a kid you know um 30 how, how many years has it been now <laughs> a couple too long, a couple yeah. years yeah. and and the objective was to was to try to to try to tap into that 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 distant memory um, of these places and try and deliver to a to a modern standard what that what that feeling is and I feel like we did a, a pretty decent job. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of how we started out. When you're on that dock, you, your mind fills in all the details from the original mist that weren't there. clouds and the you know lots of detail in that in the dock and the creaking and the cement that weren't there. Well. It, this was an attempt to actually actually fill in those things for real so mm -hmm. they are there so it, it's it's more like what your my remembers mm -hmm. which i i love that's a great way to put, put it really cool well for anybody anybody Amazing. who's anybody who's watching this check it out if you can if, if this if this piques your interest there's a lot more to see and uh for any of our long-term fans who happen to be watching thank you guys so much yeah, yeah. Shout out to the fans. We we always say it and we can't say it enough. We, you guys have stuck with us through thick and thin, and we love it. Um, we are excited about having kind of a new standard here for and bringing it in a modern engine that a lot to you know I mean, we've we've gone through so many iterations of this thing through and that have kind of come and gone. It's kind of nice having this in something that we're well versed in mm -hmm. and and can move forward with us you know so yeah anyway shot um i hope you guys like is we've enjoyed playing I and mean, you'd think i'd be sick of it after all these years but i i get in there and it still feels like um magic to me especially yep. in vr it just like it's a whole new world but yep. um yeah enjoy couldn't agree more all right you guys thanks so much we'll see you soon bye